Hey, Steve Zook here. Welcome back to Pokes Here Channel. Boy, this is like the fourth or fifth take. Of, you know, it can be a little difficult, but I, I just want to continue with the free instruction. And I want to remind you uh, the most important thing, and this is really the basis, basis of the Guitar Letter program, too, is that. It's what you practice on when you practice that's going to yield either massive results of what I call quantum leap. And some people don't like me using that term. They think they, they think it's too hypish, but it's true. I've seen it. I've seen some students just make progress that seems borders on almost supernatural. I'm not kidding. People with no musical talent within six, seven, eight, nine months playing all up and down the neck, chord melody, improvising, writing their own stuff. It's just amazing because it's what you practice every day. Whether you practice, if you practice an hour a day, two hours a day, what you practice has a huge effect. And my guitar ladder program is designed to teach the subconscious mind. And what happens is you automatically learn about smooth voice leading. And when you learn a chord, your brain automatically thinks of four or five or six other chords that can go with it. Like when I play this chord, then I, I hear that, or I hear, you know, or I hear, I just keep coming at you with all these different chord cycles and you learn the 10 systems of improvisation. You learn about common tone, contrary motion, diatonic harmony, flat five sub, secondary dominic, you know, uh, intervallic symmetry. But all those definitions really don't mean squat unless you experience it. I can tell you what steak and, and prime rib tastes like. I can, I can try to explain it to you. But until you dip your lobster into some nice warm butter and have a bite of that and a bite of prime rib, you're not, you won't know what it is, right? So that's the same thing with uh, the guitar ladder system. Uh, I mean, this is not something, that I'm, I'm just going to be straight here. There's a lot of great instructors out there, but you're not going to come up with something like this if you're a young cat. It really takes somebody who's been playing for 45 you know, years to come up with a system like this, and, and I give the universe or God most the credit for it, but seriously, it was like 40 years of research and hard work have gone into this. I studied with Joe Pass when I was young, I studied with Horace Hatchett, who taught Howard Roberts how to play. Uh, Howard Roberts started GIT, which is now MIT, the most famous guitar school in Hollywood. I studied with Tony Rizzi, uh, John Bent, composition. I studied you know, piano, too, with my mom and other people. But the bottom line, folks, is that, you know, what you do for when you practice, if you practice an hour every day or two hours or 45 minutes, or let's say an hour a day, and you practice the right stuff, you're going to make some huge leaps. And I know that a lot of people out there are probably doing some really great stuff. I get that, okay? But what I'm talking about is really waking up your musical mind so you can learn enough about music and the art and science of music to actually you know, make a statement on your own to actually have a musical point of view. And that's heavy, man. You can, you can listen to some of my music. Some of it's on SoundCloud. You can go to stevesatguitars.com and, and click the Guitar Ladder page and some of my stuff's on there. Or just email me, stevesatguitars7 at yahoo.com. I'll send you some of my tunes. But that's really what I'm talking about here. This, this is heavy, folks. This is really heavy. One of these days when I'm dead and gone, everybody's going to realize how heavy this course really is. And again, I give the universe and God most of the credit, but I've worked my ass off. But the thing is, when, you're, when your brain learns all these different chord connections and you learn all these cycles and, and you learn how to get up, move up, and you learn about low tension chords, high tension chords, contrary motion, secondary dominant, you know, symmetry, intervallic, common, you learn all these things. What's so beautiful is I teach the subconscious mind. I teach this in a way where you just naturally learn this stuff and I'm not going to get bogged down in I do do some theory and whatnot, but you know you learn you learn by doing this uh, information. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to mention that. So when you do chords, sit down on your guitar, just start improvising, and uh, if that's hard for you to do, then maybe you should jump on board with the guitar ladder course. Learn to get, learn to get up and down the neck with modern chords. Learn learn how to find beautiful like even just simple things like hear how beautiful that connects like it's lush and that, that's kind of your Ted Ted Green voicing where you pick up the 13th in the bottom part of your finger here like this so it's all about 
tension and resolution. It's all about, the, the, and I have a lot of single note studies in my guitar that, of course, but what I'm trying to say is that when you spend a lot of time doing, you know, chordal work and improvising with chords, it's just like musical steroids. And it's not, this is not hype. This is not salesmanship. This is the truth. I mean, I've seen the results. I've seen students. I'm not kidding. Almost supernatural type growth. It's, it's been crazy. But uh, that's when I realized I really had something here. So anyway, but yeah, this guitar is available to you. Uh, H280 and it's a listen that you can hear the sound it sounds gorgeous kind of sounds like a Gibson L5 meets a 175 and it's only 499 what a deal huh so anyway if I sound like I'm rushing it's because my daughter wants to come in my office and print something so uh, I know I sound a little rushed but anyway this is available this exact one is available 499 and it sounds beautiful all right take care